Hello there, Mark Cunningham here. And in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can deal with a bill or spend money transaction in zero where the GST is not equal to 10% of the total. So this will apply to both bills or spend money transactions that you put into zero. And some common examples of those are things like Telstra bills or Coles or Woolworths shopping bills where you buy some products uh, for your business. And on these bills or spend money transactions, you'll have some GST, but it won't be equal to 10% of the total value or 1 11th of the total value. It will be for less than that. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in the details for a Telstra bill, which has a total of $100, but it only has GST of $5. So I'll show you how to code that up. And if you'd like to learn more about Xero, then please go ahead and check out the links in the description below for our courses on Xero. Okay, so let's jump into Xero now and see how this is done. Okay, so over here in the Australian demo company, what we'll do is we'll just go to business and bills to pay. Okay, and we'll just click on new bill. All right, and I'll just go ahead and enter the details of the Telstra bill that we need to pay. Okay, so what I've put in here is we've just put Telstra um, as the supplier, and I've just put a couple of dates in there as well. And down here for the description, I've just said that it's the Telstra bill for June, and the total of the bill is for $100, and I actually want that to be $100 including GST, so I'll just change that to inclusive, so there you go. And we're coding it to the general ledger code, telephone and internet, and as you can see, it has a tax rate uh, baked in there of GST on expenses, which means it's going to assume that that $100 includes GST. And you can see down the bottom here, it's actually separated out $9.09 .09 of GST, which is 1 11th of the total. So this is not right. This is not what we want because on our Telstra bill, we only have $5 of GST. So there's a few different ways that you can do this, but the way that I like to do it is just to separate this out into two different lines. So what I'll do is I'll just put that in and I'll show you the result. Okay, so what I've done now is I've just separated this out into two different lines and you can see over in the description, I've just put that one line includes GST and one line excludes GST. And the line that includes GST, this is where you need to do your calculation to find out your um, total unit price here. So you know that there's $5 worth of GST uh, for this particular bill. So if you multiply it by 11, that will give you your total unit price. And then zero here will separate out the GST, which at the moment um, is wrong. So that will say $5 when I've corrected it. So for the other line, you just need to put the rest of the amount. So the total bill is for $100 the amount including GST that you're separating out is 55. So then the other amount that you need to put on this line, which is excluding GST is $45. But what you also need to do is come over to this tax rate and you need to change that to GST free expenses. So it doesn't separate out $4.50 worth of GST or, or whatever it may be there and put it down to the bottom here. So now that we've gone and changed that tax rate, you can see that this is all correct now. So we've got a total bill of $100 and $5 of it is GST. So it's taking the, the $5 out of this line here and it's taking nothing out of this line here and it's putting it down here um, in the, in the uh, GST line down there. So what you'll end up with on your activity statement on your BAS return is you will have two lines come through this line will come through with $5 of GST. This line will come through with no GST. So you've actually put the right amount of GST into your activity statement in total, and that's all you really need to do. That's what you need to accomplish. Okay, so that's one way of dealing with a bill or a spend money transaction that has less than 10% GST. You just need to create two lines, and then one of them will be inclusive, one of them will be exclusive, and then you just need to make sure you get your tax rates right over here and the total amount of GST that comes down to the bottom here is correct.